so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the view as I already mentioned uh, I'm going to click on this keyword view okay see uh, if you see in the keyword view that uh, in this particular action the name is action one uh, we on the dialog box what we done we I mean in the object agent name we performed an operation that, that was set and we set a value as Q online uh, in the object password we perform one operation that was set secure and we do the set secure method and the password is just like it and then we click on the button ok then the next window turn up that is the flight reservation in which on the menu we selected the file then exit fine so this is a kind of uh, keyword view if you are not very much familiar and comfortable with the uh, for example coding stuff you can uh, look over here and try to understand I'm again going back to the edit editors view or the expert view see so these were actually four steps uh, we recorded fine so I am going to simply run these steps so for running what I, I can do is I can click on this button or I can simply hit F5 to run it so I'm going to run it and then we're going to see that how QTP is going to perform it okay so I click on this button and it, it is asking me to run I said run okay so just see it opened the lo login window then login the mercury we are in and the closed see how fast how fast the QTP completed all these I mean four steps of the whole process that is the only reason QTP is called as quick test professional fine it execute the things so quickly that is the only reason okay so uh, this is what I'm going to I mean what I'm able to see that is a complete kind of uh, result report right now it's automatic result generation report I'll discuss the result generation in a separate video but uh, in this uh, video what it done was the QTP simply completed one iteration fine so current run that is done if you see here there is no pass no fail there is no kind of stuff the reason is because we didn't provide any kind of uh, place or any kind of checkpoint like to make QTP know that this is something what you need to test and if that test case is test is uh, okay you'll QTP will uh, say like pass or if it is not good then it will say fail okay so in this uh, iteration we didn't put up any kind of that stuff in that I'm going to discuss in the coming video that's about the concept of checkpoints so in that video you will be able to understand that how we make QTP know at some specific point while recording or running at what point QTP needs to be checked okay so I hope you uh, I hope you got the idea about that how QTP and uh, I mean the how we create the test case and uh, uh, the concept of recording and uh, run settings as well as how to record and how to run okay so i hope you got the idea uh, thanks for watching